beautiful thing about technology is that it also creates new opportunities and creates new jobs. And so if we don't um, be intentional about developing these areas and forming partnerships with the students, with the parents, with Matt Lev, like Lekensi and the program that he is running, um, we won't have a future. And so we are so excited about being able to do this. We look forward to the success that this program is going to bring um, as we continue to build um, the STEM in the Turks and Caicos. My name is Anderson Walken. I'm a part of the IT department at Fortis TCI. Our table is focused on enterprise drones and we're showcasing our new DJI Matrice 300 RTK model, which will be used in various different parts of our field work. We're very excited to bring this here to uh, tell the kids a little about what we do and how it will be used within our day-to-day -day routines. Hello, I'm Ash Williams, the engineering supervisor at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Today we are making artificial veins. These veins are now being used to replace damaged veins in the heart. And my basic props are some tubing, duct tape, water, artificial heart, and some basic wire and other small supplies today. <laughs> I'm Lucien Fulford, project manager for Windward Development. Um, what we have here is a crafts exercise where we are trying to um, create a paper roller coaster. The idea is that we have some structural supports and the cuts along the sides allows it to be flexible. So the idea is that we will eventually add a few more rows onto this with a few more supports and hopefully it, it works. The whole idea is that gravity will push the marble down to the end and the velocity created will take us to the end. So that's the principle. Yeah. My name is Jamie Malcolm and I'm here today to show the kids on how to use fun items, everyday items, to build bridges, right? And our bridge today is out of marshmallows and spaghetti, as you can see. Now I'm trying to explain to them, even though we're using these somewhat frail materials, it can be done in a way that will actually make it strong and sturdy. It can almost hold its form. <laughs> now it's not symmetrical, but it's actually strong and sturdy and it's not going to fall down or go anywhere. Coming down. So hi, I'm Dr. Missick. I'm a GP at Grace Bay Medical and today we're going to be showing Perry how to take blood from this lovely owl. So once we found the vein, are we going to clean it? No. With the needles, you see that there's a hole there, but there isn't one on this side. So we'll make sure the hole is facing us. Right? These little wings help us to stabilize it once we put the needle in. So Miss Angel, I'm going to stick you now. And we'll go right into that vein that we found. Nice and shallow. We can hold it down there and then we come here and you can see already the blood's coming through. We also have drones, we have robots, we have different science experiments, we have I Breathe What, a project where kids actually, I mean, discover different polytons. So they investigate polytons and use microscopes to discover what type of polytons that we breathe. We know the air is contaminated with different polytons daily. It could be mi microscopic polytons. So that's the whole purpose of just putting up the, like a solution catcher basically, so they can actually identify what polytons that we, that's in our air. We have painting, the kids doing different painting. We have from bottomy, we are suturing. So we have a variety of different experiments. Kids are having a wonderful time. We love you guys, appreciate you.